Before Mayweather got called out of retirement by UFC champ Conor McGregor, with fans gearing up for a fight between the two titans in 2017. And I've already said, no problem. Get my fucking money. Before his entourage would include Justin Bieber, Triple H, and best friend 50 Cent, who challenged the champ to a read off when the two had a falling out. We wanna put pressure on you. We know you can't pronounce those words in that Harry Potter book, so we're gonna let you read Cat in the Hat. Before Money Mayweather would get $1,000 haircuts twice a week, live in a 22,000 square foot mansion, and bring in a total of $1.3 billion from his pay per view fights, upping his net worth to an estimated $400 million. Floyd Mayweather Jr. would remain undefeated after 20 years, hanging up his gloves with a record of 49 0, or 53 0 if you count the domestic violence charges. If they say that's domestic violence, then you know what? I'm guilty. Floyd was born into a boxing family but grew up in poverty. Sharing a bedroom with his four siblings and being raised by a drug addicted mother and drug dealing father came with a whole lot of ups and downs. It seemed the only thing Floyd had control over growing up was his training in the ring, but just as he was ready to make his amateur debut, his dad, who was also his trainer, well he got sentenced to five years in prison, leaving Mayweather Jr. to make his mark on the world by himself. What's going on guys, my name is Mike McCredden, documenting the life and career of Floyd Mayweather Jr. prior to fame, here for you all before they are famous. That we've covered other athletes, including Muhammad Ali and Conor McGregor. So be sure to check those out. But in the meantime, let us know in the comment section down below who you want me to document next. I feel like I need to train harder to host these videos. My team is called Floyd Mayweather. So I'm <laughs> let's talk about Mark. Good. Marnie, yeah, Marnie. let's talk about Marnie. Beautiful. Floyd Joy Sinclair was born on February 24th, 1977 in Grand Rapids, Michigan, to a well-established boxing family. His pops, Floyd Sr., was in the ring, as were two of his uncles who were featherweight and lightweight champions. Boxing is certainly an honorable sport to pick up, but it didn't do much to pay the bills at home. His dad dealt drugs at night and spent time with his kids during the day, but couldn't escape the danger that came with hustling. One fight ended with a shotgun getting pointed at the face while holding year-old Floyd Jr. He kept his son in hand knowing the guy wouldn't kill a kid, thankfully he was right, and instead he took one in the leg. That was the end of Floyd Sr's boxing career. He did his best to provide and would bring Floyd to his gym whenever he could. The kid was throwing punches as soon as he could walk and got fitted for his first pair of boxing gloves when he was only 7. Little Floyd became a local celebrity at the gym and ended up dropping his mom's last name for his dad's, hoping to follow in the family footsteps. Now I find it weird that he was named after his mother in the first place. I guess with his dad being a drug dealer, the more responsible person is the drug user. Right? I don't know. <laughs> when he was nine, he went to live with his mom, Deborah, in New Jersey, who struggled with drug addiction herself. There, he'd share a bedroom with as many as seven siblings. When he thought about getting a job in his teens, well, it was his grandma who encouraged him to stick with boxing. And he did. To escape the chaos of his home life, Floyd spent every moment he could improving his game in the ring. He earned the nickname Pretty Boy because of his incredible defensive moves. No one was able to get a good hit on his face. Father coached and son obeyed, rising quickly through the amateur ranks. He went to Ottawa Hills High School in Grand Rapids and was showing a lot of promise as a boxer. He was training constantly and even remember seeing a young Mike Tyson prepare for big fights at his Golden Gloves gym. Unfortunately, Tyson wouldn't think very much of Floyd as he got older. He's a little scared man. He's a very small scared man. Scared or not, Floyd was gearing up to make his amateur debut in 1993 when his father was caught trafficking cocaine and sentenced to five years time. His dad's absence was devastating to Floyd, but he pressed on and even dropped out of school to focus on training. And I don't blame him. Academics were never a strong suit. Well, host annual host, host annual an annual 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 the Derek Zoolander Center for Kids Who Can't Read Good. During his high school days, Floyd sparked up an on-again, off-again relationship with Josie Harris, and although the two never wed, she would have three children with Floyd and be the victim of the highly publicized domestic violence case of 2010. But we're not there yet in this part of the story. Spurs in round number one. Mayweather. Mayweather Jr. ended up having a super successful debut, taking home the National Golden Gloves title in 93, 94, and 96. His impressive record of 84 to 6 got him a spot in the 1996 Olympic Games in Atlanta, where the world witnessed a rare moment in his career defeat. The winner from the red corner. <laughs> 
Even when he lost, he still thought he had won. So did the ref. Yeah, not a good look. But he still took home a bronze medal. Just after he returned to pro boxing, his father got an early release from prison and took on the role of manager and trainer once again. Mayweather continued to stun opponents and commentators alike, taking home the featherweight title in just two years. He defended the title against big names like Angel Manfredi and an unforgettable fight with the undefeated Diego Corrales. Diego was about to serve time for beating his pregnant wife and ironically, well Floyd promised to beat him for all the battered women across America. And those words would uh, come back to haunt him. What message do you think that sends victims of domestic violence? I say I want everybody to tune in May 2nd. Mayweather versus Pacquiao, this is a fight that you can't miss. Little did he know that a few years later he'd do the same to the women in his life. From there he established himself as an untouchable force. He moved up in weight classes four times, taking home the WBC lightweight title in 2002 and the WBC super lightweight title in 2005. Also the IBF, IBO, WBC and IBA welterweight titles in 2006. In 2007 he defeated Oscar De La Hoya for the WBC super welterweight crown and would go on to become one of the greatest and most controversial boxers of all time. As for the rest of the story, well you know the story because this is before they're famous. My name is Michael McCredden and we do all sorts of celebrity bios on here. We've done a whole bunch of athletes. I'm actually hoping to do a sit down interview with Conor McGregor because me and him have the same Irish blood. In the meantime, there are other videos down below. Check those out and also subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in another video. I'm too scared. Fuck. Scared. Scared. Very small scared man.